Hi, Paul from Contemporary Synth here. We are continuing the tutorial that I started before. We're using acapella sounds with some hand rhythm to create a Dixieland version of Just a Closer Walk with Thee. I'm looking at Sibelius where I have entered the notes that I want to play and I've already entered in the vocal and rhythm. It's time to enter the clarinet parts. Uh, Sibelius does have a MIDI interface, but it's not very uh, dependable and I've, I've struggled with it a lot. So the easiest way to get the MIDI from my computer into here is to use a DAW. To do that, I'm going to export this because I have made some changes to it. I'm going to export it as MIDI. And of course, there's a version here already because I've been at this for a while. And then I'm going to open up my DAW, which for me is Cakewalk. Uh, Cakewalk is a free download, although I owned it when it was Sonar, so I have some extra plugins for it. But it's like Logic and Ableton, although Ableton has that other live capability, like Audacity, if you've got nothing, you can download that for free. So I'm looking at a blank screen. I'm going to plug in my computer USB here and hope that it recognizes the device. And I'm going to open the file that I just saved, just a closer walk with thee. Here it is. The above Phantom O is connected. Do you want to add it? Yes. So that's a good sign. Okay, here I'm looking at three tracks. This is my bass clef vocal that I saved. This is my treble clef vocal. And this is my clarinet. I can play them all a little bit. Uh, sorry. Hopefully you believe me. Now, what's coming, what's happening here, let me go Windows Plus and Explore, expand a little bit. Down here at the bottom, the way Cakewalk works, and all the DAWs do this, for each track, there's a MIDI input, and this is just saying any MIDI input will work. And there's a MIDI output, and this is outputting to the Microsoft GS Wavetable Synth. Uh, interestingly, I looked up what GS means, and you're not gonna believe this. GS stands for General Standard, and it is a Roland synthesizer project product that's licensed to Microsoft. Back in the 90s, Roland extended the general MIDI protocol to add a bunch of patches and I.O. parameters, and Microsoft uses that. So general standard, and it's from Roland. But the fact that Cakewalk is using it and Sibelius is also using it, that's why the clarinet sounds still sound like a clarinet and the choir ahs still sound like a choir ah. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Let me see but uh, that's not what I need to do what I'm doing today. I'm gonna delete the two vocal tracks. I'm not doing anything with those. All I wanna do is get the clarinet track into the computer. And as a review before, if you're using the Microsoft synth, it's gonna come through the line in. So when I'm playing this, you can see it through the line in. What I want it to do is come in through the MIDI or through the actual channel. Uh, over here also, I'm gonna point out that uh, you have the ability to pick whatever channel you want and whatever voice you want. So I happen to know, you know, 53 is choir off, 71 is clarinet, I think 72 is flute. Yeah, 72 is flute. I'm gonna set this to none because it does reset the patch every time the track starts playing. And when I connect it to the computer, I don't want it changing the voice. I wanna leave that voice right there. Uh, okay, so the next step is to add uh, the Phantom to my list of MIDI devices. And I'm not gonna use the input right now, I'm only gonna use the output. And when I do that and I go back down to this dropdown here, you're gonna see, it used to just say Microsoft. But now I have this new option, a Phantom. And if I come up here, uh, if I press, well, if I play the song, it's coming through channel one. And if I select two, it comes through zone two which is what I want, all right? Another fun thing you can do with Cakewalk, they all do this, it's just different ways to get there, is do this piano view. And even funner is to do a staff view. So this, these notes here are do, 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 is exactly the same as what we saw over here. Do, 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 all right? 
just in case you didn't believe me, that is a, uh, they all do this. You can export this MIDI file, open it and play it back through your DAW. So it's time to record this pattern. Hit record. This is gonna be eight measures. And I can go back to 80 beats per minute now because the computer doesn't care. I could do it at 800 beats per minute, but that's not as fun to listen to. And I should be able to play it. Let me see. All right, let's do it. Way to do it. No stress. I actually asked the clarinetist in our choir if she would play this, and she said, no way on the video. So it's all right, MIDI, always your friend. Okay, this is the tag. I have to select the tag voices or it's going to sound really funny. It would record the same and it would be fine, but it wouldn't sound right. Uh, wait note, let's put this in there. Okay. And that, and I'll tell you, this is the generic MIDI integration where you use channels and voices. What this is supposed to do, and I've, I've seen demos, but I haven't been able to do it myself, is actually control the faders and control the buttons from the keyboard. And I think that's what that uh, vendor integration gives you, that increased integration. I'm gonna learn how to do that, and these tutorials will cover that as soon as I figure it out. But for now, that's all we need from the computer. And we're ready to do the playout. To do that, I'm gonna create some groups. So my first group is going to be, actually I'll work backwards. This is the end, this was the tag. And it's four measures long. And I'm gonna call that tag. And then the next one is with the clarinet. That's gonna be here, okay. Group, that one's eight measures long. And I'll call that the instrumental. And then without the clarinet is how the song's going to start and that's gonna be so at one. Eight measures. And I'm not gonna name that anything because I'm going straight to the song. And I'm gonna add the initial one, then the clarinet, and then the tag, except I missed. Clarinet, tag, right? And then I'm going to edit it and I wanna play the first group twice. Is it repeating twice? Or do you play it twice? I'm going to play it twice, and I'm going to play this twice. So the whole song's five rounds through. Or four and a half, if you count the tag as half. Okay, and since anything worth doing is worth overdoing, I'm going to also add a drum, because I found this. These drum patterns I don't find inspiring. That's another thing I look forward to getting out of Ableton. But there is kind of a boom chick, boom chick that works with this. <laughs> So it works, I will use that. Now since I'll be watching the song, I'm gonna use a pad mode rhythm pattern to start and stop it. All right, so that'll sound like this. So I can stop it. All right, I'm gonna watch the song and I think we're ready. One, two, am I right, am I right? I'm gonna start with shaker, snap, and just the bass. One, two, three, four. Just a closer walk with me. Grand Jesus is my plea. Daily walking close to thee. Let it be, dear Lord, let it be. I am weak, but thou art strong. Jesus, keep me from all wrong. I'll be satisfied as long as I walk. Let me walk close to thee. 
super fun. What I'm going to do is put this MIDI file in the Contemporary Synth Google Drive folder and I'll put a link to that in the description. So you anybody can download this file and do this exact exercise. It's a, a public domain song. I wrote these. You're welcome to have them and you can have some fun. I hope that helps you experiment. I hope that helps you learn. hope that gives you some ideas and I hope you subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.